All right, guys, so we got another haul, and so me and the girls, Rizzy is actually taking the chairs here out of the kitchen for right now. We're gonna right, right down this area. Hubby is putting the stuff there. He's bringing it in, it's going straight to the ground. So, yep, we're gonna right, wipe this area down and then start wiping everything down. All right, so. Girls are putting on gloves. Show them your gloves. Stick your hands in front of them. So they got their little gloves on. That's really up, up, up. They, I don't think they've seen it. Up. Yep, there you go. So they're putting on gloves. I'm getting ready to wipe this down really fast with a nice wet one of my pre-made things like I did in the last grocery haul. And then I'll come back with something to dry it. So they're going to start handing me stuff. Thank you. Here, get that end on there for me. Okay, guys. So basically, that's the process. We're going to get everything up and on this counter. And then we are going to share with you our haul. So these are all the actual... Um, sanitary wipes that I what baby oh wash my hands that I use to clean off all the um groceries I'll try to remember to link the DIY because a lot of people can't find the wipes so I showed you how to make them from stuff that you have from home and I'm gonna put these in a basket and wash them and then I'll remake instead of keep buying these sanitary wipes these um yeah, disinfectant wipes, whatever you want to call them. It's a actual link to this. But I hope you guys enjoy this um, grocery haul. So continue watching. All right, guys. So starting from this end. And hubby went to four stores. Aldi's, Walmart, Dollar Tree, and a local meat market store. And I'll show you what he got from a local meat market. So starting from this end. And Aldi's. Dollar Tree parchment paper. We're having cheeseburgers tonight, cheeseburgers and homemade fries. So he got hamburger buns, some mango chopped, um, frozen mangoes. He got my coffee. I told him to get some coffee. My hubby would be, let me get you two just to be on the same side. So he got me two boxes of my favorite French vanilla coffee to put in my Keurig from all these guys. It is a freaking amazing. Bleach from Dollar Tree. Can't go wrong with the bleach from Dollar Tree. And I wanted some strawberries. And y'all, don't these strawberries look so freaking good? Y'all know I had to have some butter. I've been trying not to eat that much. And I'm going to be doing a liquid fast. Liquid fast. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do um, my ketosis strips when I do the liquid fast. I've been doing good. Like right now it's 314. I have not eaten anything. I've drunk water and I had a cup of coffee. I'm really waiting for my body to move itself before I eat something. So I probably won't eat until dinner time and then have a snack after that and that's it. So that's what I've been trying to do and it's been going pretty cool. But I will be doing a water fast and I'll be sharing with you guys a three day water fast. My flush and myself or Epsom salt flush and all that good stuff um, in that video. So stay tuned within the next week or so for me to continue to um, try to do one meal a day like I'm doing and then go into a liquid fast just to cleanse me and detox me for um, three days. Okay, so moving on. We got some corn here. Remember, I wanted to make corn for a meal and I didn't have any. So yeah, we got some corn. He made sure he got four bags. <laughs> That's from Audi's, and he got some French onion dip, some butter. Y'all know I like to bake. He got two of the salted butters, which have four sticks apiece. And then over here, we have two bags of regular sugar. The raw organic sugar is hard to find, haven't been finding it, so whatever it is, what it is. Um, some mushrooms, and then moving over, some taco seasoning, two packs of that from Audi's, the Clancy's kettle jalapeno chips. I don't know if I like Audi's better or uh, I was going to say true value, great value, but I love the kettle jalapeno chips. I really don't care for kettle as much, but I do if they're jalapeno. So 
And then we have over here from Aldi some base scallops, raw base scallops. Love them, love them, love them. If you haven't had them, they're great to implement in pastas and also just to saute and eat them with like a Ritz cracker. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Y'all don't even understand. So we have some tomatoes on tonight. Like I said, we're doing cheeseburgers. So I wanted some tomatoes. So I told him to get some tomatoes. Then he has a four cheese Alfredo. Naya wants to make her little Alfredo. So we got that. And I have a big tub of peanut butter because... The peanut butter cookies and the little tubs go too fast when i'm making those that's from aldi's all of this that you see here is from aldi's and i think these are from dollar tree not from aldi's yeah and then we have two sauces um pasta sauces from aldi's two orange juice from aldi's some sweet baby rays i don't know if that's from walmart or aldi's but we are having some barbecue chicken tomorrow and then after that i think we're doing no well i don't want to do meatloaf i want to do something else I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyways, he bought some more um, juices. So he got some fruit punch. These are from Aldi's. He got my kitchen banquet browning and, season, browning and seasoning sauce. Now, I usually use this or Gravy Master, but this is the original one I started using, which I love. If I don't find this, I find um, Gravy Master and they kind of do the same thing. This is when you don't want that robust taste of darkening your roux to make your gravy. And a lot of times that taste only goes goes great with certain meats or certain type of um meals so i would you use the browning seasoning after i get my roux to a light consistency and then i'll darken it with this with flavoring versus letting it darken on its own to get more of a smoky flavor so yeah that's why i use that then we have three things of cheddar we have white cheddar mild cheddar and sharp cheddar and then we have some thin Hillshire Farm turkey breast. We got honey and uh, honey ham and regular oven roasted turkey breast. We have two bell peppers. They didn't have any peppers at Aldi, so he got two bell peppers from Walmart. They had some more ground beef. You can't go wrong with having this um, because I can make at least three meals out of it. And so that was from Aldi's. I took the bacon out of the containers. So these were from Aldi's as well. And then we got eggs and these are from Walmart. And we have lettuce from Aldi's, almond milk, which is my favorite unsweetened from um, Aldi's as well. Now I will, if I don't have mine, use the sweetened if I'm making like a cream of wheat or oatmeal. And I have a bomb cream of wheat video that so many people love on my channel that has thousands and thousands and thousands of views. So check that out. And how to make old fashioned oatmeal is also on my video on my um, channel so check that out as well then we have some boneless chicken breasts these are from Aldi's these were uh I can't remember how much he said these were so we got some ripple party size chips from Walmart I'm going to be doing some fried tacos. I don't know if I'm going to do meatless or regular, but I found a recipe. I never did fried tacos and I found a recipe on Pinterest and I really want to try. It was like a trending recipe. So we're going to do some fried tacos and I'll probably do them on camera to share them with you guys so you can make them because they look so bomb and the people in the comments were saying they were tasty. So I'm going to do my own little recipe and kind of, you know, spice it up a little bit, but I'm going to share that with my revivers. So we have some apple juice two apple juice then we have a tropical blend of um frozen fruit and my other calculator i had went out so hubby got this big one and i thought when i see i don't know what i thought this from dollar tree i thought the screen was bigger as well i didn't know the screen was so little and the calculator was just big for no reason yeah whatever so that's the calculator bread from all these hot dog buns from Aldi's. We're going to do some kibasi sausage or either Italian sausage. Either one. We have both. Um, and then we have four cream cheeses. All of this stuff here was from Aldi's and the juices and the fruit. That's from Dollar Tree. This was from Aldi's. Three of them is from Aldi's. I wanted four and then he got the fourth one because he had the last three from Aldi's and got the fourth one from Walmart. I have some whipped topping. I like to use that when I'm eating fruit. That's going to be my snack, trying to get away from this ice cream and certain stuff. And like I said, if I want to eat sweets, I'm trying to just make our sweets versus getting the processed sweets. I'm trying it. I'm trying it. I'm trying it, y'all. And then I have some bulbs of um, garlic. 
I told hubby not to get these and get the crushed. He must have misunderstood, but it's okay. I can't complain. Garlic is garlic. It's a little bit more pricier, but oh well. Um, then I have some thyme here. I love thyme. Y'all don't know I love fresh thyme. I grew some of this in my garden, but I can't do it right now. So I told him to get me some fresh thyme because it just makes a big difference. And so this stuff is from um, Walmart and this. I heard this is so bomb, so bomb. And it is smoked salmon in the cream cheese. And they say it's amazing. So, we will be trying that with um, some crackers and seeing how that tastes. And so, that is... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Then we have this. This is the box of Haddock. And it is a... I want to say a... I don't even see the size. Hold on. I want to say this is like 10 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. It don't even show it. But this is a huge box of Haddock. A huge box I want to say it's 10 pounds or 20 pounds something like that and it's for $41 we can eat on this like over a month so definitely want to get that I'm trying to start implementing more of the pescatarian diet back into our lives because I know we strayed away from that but yeah I'm <sighs> food is so addictive and I'm trying y'all I'm trying so that was our haul I think I got everything I hope I didn't miss anything so yeah and uh hope you guys enjoy thumbs up and if you like hauls there's going to be a video up in the corner at the end of this so you can see other hauls that i've done and enjoy those as well see what type of foods my family likes to eat later gators